Hi YouTube! It's another new face. Well, hello! Nice to meet you. Um, my name is Iris and I wanted to do YouTube videos for a very long time now and I thought I would start it. I'm from Holland as you may be able to hear and my English is as good as it gets so I'm sorry, can't be better. Recently I've been to London with my mother and it's just a week ago and I'm feeling very sad that I'm home again because I love the city. And I've been shopping there. Yes, what do you do in London? You go shopping. So, look what happens! And that's not all. Oh. Oops. I think. So, I was going to show you everything of my haul and people I like watching haul so I thought maybe shooting one is the same. I hope you don't have trouble with the lighting. It's sometimes sunny, sometimes it's not. And if you hear a train, well, I live next to the train tracks. So any uh, disturbance, my apologies. My first stop was, I think, the Waterstones. I'm a huge uh, book fan, as you may be able to see, and that's not all. So I went shopping for books, because that's what I like to do. So my first purchase was a book I've been looking for a very long time. It's not uh, available here. We have Terry Pratchett books, but not this one, not in any bookstore in Holland. At least not where I was. And I don't like ordering online because I want to see it and touch it and smell it, because I'm a bookworm. So I found it. Good. Omens, I don't think you can read it. It's Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. It was 7 99 at Waterstones in London. And I'm very excited to read it. I had a very nice uh, chat with the girl and she said, you have to read it, it's amazing. And so I thought I'd buy it. So that's the first book and the second was Warm Bodies. It's by Isaac Marion. Marion? Ryan? I don't know. Good writer. I've been reading it a little bit and I've loved the movie so I thought I'd buy it and it was buy one get one half price. So that's always nice. And I bought another book from one of my best friends. She had her birthday last Sunday and she got the other book. So thank you for making me purchase this one again. And this one was also 7 99 Fun facts! I'm a David Bowie fan and I'm a huge fan and I originally went to London just to see the David Bowie Is exhibition. Yes, I booked a train ticket to get to London for David Bowie and then I said to my mum, you can come along if you want. I'm going. You can stay home, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going. So I went and it was a bit of tricky whether I get the tickets or not. So. Um, we arrived at the Saturday, so we went to Porto the Road Market first in Notting Hill and then we went straight to the Victoria and Alberts Museum and I got tickets and I was hysteric for the rest of the day. So Monday we went to the David Bowie exhibition and I had to buy this. It's a David Bowie is book and it says David Bowie is inside. Well, he certainly is with me. I can't think about anything else. But it's still in plastic because I don't dare to wrap it and make it dirty. And uh, yeah. On, I bought a new t shirt. And the book was about. How much was the book? The book was £25. So, I don't mind treat for myself. A lot of treats are for myself here. And this is my beautiful shirt. And it is beautiful. Look at it. Ah. Ooh, light flash. Sorry about that. But this is it. Look, look, look. It's amazing. I own two other David Bowie shirts. And I would like a lot of them, but most of the shirts they pr uh, produce, they are with the same uh, picture of him on the front 
and I would like as many different shirts as possible so yay so that I bought and I also treat treated myself with two cards. This is a very famous picture from his uh, Thimwa Juke tour, the Station to Station tour I believe. And this is uh, his handwriting with uh, Ziggy. Oh, it doesn't catch it, but this is his handwriting for the Ziggy Stardust lyrics. And that just thrills me. <laughs> I still I want uh, buy photo frames to put them in and hang them on my wall. So uh, enough, David Bowie. Well, not for me, but for you. Um, on with the shopping. So uh, first stop was Primark. We do have a Primark here, but it is chaos and it's amazingly busy and I don't like shopping there. The clothes aren't as good as you can get uh, at the UK. So I went there and it was uh, a, a bit of slow, I believe Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. And I had a stack of clothing and I went to fit them all and I only came back with this very cute shorts. And they look like a skirt, but it really is a shorts. And I love them very much. I really am not a floral person, as you will may notice in the next few moments. But I really wasn't. And I just love this. And I say thank you, Mum, for pointing this one out. And this was, I believe, ten pounds. So that's pretty good price. And that was all from Primark, except for a stack of socks, which I can't, which I can't find. But that was also very cheap and nice to buy. Okay, um, another stop. Topshop. I love Topshop. It's amazing. We don't have it here. Luckily, they have a very good uh, website. And I ordered them their pajamas once with the labyrinth uh, picture on it. And... Uh, Few, I own a few lipsticks. Last year I went to Dublin and uh, we shopped there too, so I bought there a lipstick. And um, well, this is my first purchase. It's a very loose, drapey, nice, comfy white uh, shirt. It has like three quarter sleeves, and it's you can't really see, but this is like, uh, how do you call it? A bit, yeah. We call it ribbles. It isn't. It isn't. Well, it's very comfy, very loose. It's a bit see-through, but it's just really nice for summer when it's just a little bit colder. I'm a very cold-like person, so I like that a lot. I was looking for one for like ages, so I'm very happy. And this is my next purchase. Look, flowers. And you can't really see the colors. Why can't you see the colors? Well, it's yellow and white and grey and it's very big and very cozy and comfy and it has rolled up sleeves. It's white at the back. And it's just really, really pretty. You can't really see the colours, can you? Well, it's like a uh, neon yellow and it just fades in and out and it is very, very pretty. Oh, let's just take the makeup from Topshop then. I'm wearing lip uh, lipstick in <laughs> onto the makeup. I'm now wearing Topshop infrared lipstick. I love it. I wanted my best chummy uh, bought it last year in Dublin, and I was so bad, so angry at myself that I didn't purchase it. So I had to buy it. So that's what I did. I infrared from Topshop and I like to keep things in its packaging but it's infrared and I'll swatch it all later and I hope you can see it but I have a different camera for that but it's so pretty it's orange just orange it's beautiful and I like this one better than my other two I've got Sartorial and uh, Pillow Pillow Talk I believe it's Piddle Talk. And those are beautiful too, but my lips don't really like them. Or something like that. So, that is infrared. It's beautiful. And I think I'll have to purchase one online very soon because I think I'm going to run out of it. 
And then I bought a uh, uh, eye pencil, a coal thing in brown, and I don't think it has another name, it's just brown. I forgot the price tags. Right, Topshop infrared lipstick was £8, and the eye pencil was £4. And that's a thing. I don't remember which which shirt was what price, but I believe that my yellow florally shirt was eighteen pounds and the white one sixteen. Could be reversed. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'm just too excited that I bought them. So that's it. That was my top shop haul. Um, next up, Forever Twenty One. It's not in this bag. This is all makeup and bath stuffs and just like all that so forever 21 i love the store i bought a lot of um i bought this white camis in dublin cheap like bargainers in here you pay seven euros for one top if you want a good quality and if you want a better quality it's even more and my chummy is talking so my phone is buzzing but it's yeah it's I love those tops. I don't know if I can find them. Well, here is one. It's a beige cami. I like it. It's been a nude color. It's just sometimes I just like nude colors. And all my, my camis were on for re replacement because they were all just worn out. So I've got this one in beige. This one is just same size as my top. I've got two white ones and I've got one in black and it's longer. Okay, the white ones were two pounds. The taupe one oh it's taupe. It's taupe people. I don't think it's taupe. But it's taupe, it says. It's one ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And the black one was three pounds. So and it's like um uh, it's over the thigh, so it's like a short underdress, I think. It's it's very handy for the winter when I'm cold. So that was it. Very, very handy. Next top, thank you mum for an already letting me buy more, more flowers. I've never had flowers. Now I have flowers. My name is a flower. Maybe that's it. What's my hair doing? I don't know. But this is my very first maxi dress. And it's long. Well, actually, I'm not very tall. I'm like... Uh, I don't know the English version, but version, but I'm like one meter and sixty-six centimeters, so that's not very long. So maxi dresses are hell to buy. I'm too short, and most of the dresses or skirts are very, very long. But this is the first one that fits. Yay! And it's okay. Um, what you get is a very complicated back. No, it isn't. I can't find the thingy. No. Okay, look. You've got a zipper up the back, and it gets uh, also with a hook. You can close it and zipper, and it's just very simple on the back. On the front, you've got just a nice bit weight. I have to get used to that, but it's like uh, you get a very nice waistline with this one. It's very long, you have an underskirt about uh, on the half of my legs, on my knee, I think it's almost on my knee, and then it's see-through until my ankles. So it's very lovely, it's very summery, and it's hot, so that's very nice to wear. Yes, I like that. And that was... Dress, white, purple, long length. 1975 pounds so that was amazing i like that price a lot next top is another top and it's oh, love at first sight i saw it and i had to have it you sometimes have those moments don't you and it's beautiful it's black it's teal and then it's white and it looks like turquoise but it really is that creamy blue i think it's teal or petrol or whatever you want to call it and then you can tie those ends together and I like to just switch it a bit to the side and just let it dangle a bit and the back is black 
it's just uh, not a very high neckline just a bit but I like it and it's very loose and very comfy and I like that so yeah that's a very nice one and this costs 1475 1475 yes it was yeah a bit pricey but I don't mind I was in London so I could buy everything my bank balance is angry at me it's very hungry at the moment you will see why in the next few minutes and then my final top from Forever 21 is this blouse and it's see-through and it's black and white as you can see and it's a high no, I don't know it's a bit of a high neck but it's very pretty it's, uh, at first I put it on and I didn't really like it but then I walked to my mum to show it and somehow during the walk it just fell nicely so it fell nicely and I thought yes why not it's very it's very um, I don't know I, I just like this for formal occasions maybe or just some a bit when you need a little bit of extra you know I just like it it's just really loose and like it and it has uh, buttons on the sleeves so the sleeves are buttoned and it's basically the back and, uh, and the front are the same so I like that wow those are all my clothes now with this heavy heavy bag ooh, purple and orange Oof, purple it's it's fluorescent pink, but it looks purple on the screen, so I'm sorry. I need to get a very better camera, but this is my webcam for my laptop. Because my own camera isn't that good anymore, and I'm saving for a new one. So, my apologies again. First of all, boots, you will ruin me. It's a good thing that you're not in, Hol in Holland with everything you have. We have a few boots stores, but let's just say they are not as good supplied as the ones in the UK, where you have 10 in one streets. There was my necklace. First of all, my necklace. I bought it with New Look. I like New Look. They have some very nice things. And I... Ooh, what's going on up here? I bought this necklace. Yeah, I bought this necklace. Look, uh, it was like five ninety nine, and it's very, very pretty. I like statement necklaces. I'm very picky at them, but it just—they're all triangles, and they—we have a flat side that's resting against your your chest and then they stick out and they tingle a little and they're very very pretty and I like them a lot because I like to wear some shirts they just I like to wear shirts like these very plain and then this just cracks it off and I really like it. Five ninety nine from New Look. Okay. Makeup stuff related things which ruined me. Okay, we stop at um oh the Tangle Teaser. That's a nice one. I heard about a Tangle Teaser that's been raving around on the internet and I thought I'd give it a go. We do have them here, I'm sorry for about the reflection of lights. It's a purple one, I like purple. With pink on the back, I don't like pink, but uh, I like pink, but not the baby pink. Luckily this is like fluorescent pink, neon pink. It's like the bag, but it looks purple here, I'm sorry that was an email. And I like it, I've tried it, and wow, it's just wow. It, it brushes very good, it does what it says it does. I'm wanting to try it a little bit more, see if I see any difference if I use a uh, Tangle Teaser or just a regular brush. But I liked how it's just swept through my hair without any knots or things, and yeah, I like that. I'll give it a try, and the Tangle Teaser is... Tangle, tangle, tangle teaser costs ten ninety nine at Boots. So next stop is brushes. Also, something that has been raved about on the internet are the Real Technique brushes. 
and I had to have them. I don't own many brushes, I only uh, own like just eye brushes. Eye brushes. And no face brushes. So I had to have them. I thought I would spend my money on something that's um, been said that it works a lot and works fine. So here we have my core collection. It comes in a lovely, lovely eight, lovely, yeah, what you call it? Like a makeup bag, but then especially for your brushes, and you open it, and it's that stuff. We call it Clitten Bond. <laughs> I don't know the English name word, I'm sorry. And then you have a lot of brushes. And I've already used this a foundation brush. You have a detail brush for concealer or your lips. You have a powder brush and you have a um, contouring brush which you yeah for blushing and contouring I don't own any bronzer or whatever but I like it it's so soft and it feels nice and it just it's you feel good when you're applying your makeup and I don't really do a lot of foundation but when I do I just never like it on me but I used it yesterday or the day before I don't remember but I loved it. It was. It looked nice for a change. So maybe I'll wear it a bit more. If there were twenty one ninety nine, but you get four brushes, so I'm not really one to complain. So very good buy. Thank you, girl at the shop who was very nice and dug them out of the basement for me because I wanted them and I've searched all the ten boot stores in Oxford Street to get one. So thank you very much. I like them. Okay, Soap and Glory. I love Soap and Glory. It's just amazing stuff. It makes your skin soft. It smells delicious. I bought Peaches and Clean. Um, that's uh, I'll show it. Peaches and Clean 3-in-1 Wash-Off Deep Purifying Cleanser. And it's amazing stuff. I bought it in Dublin last year and I've been very... Um, what you call it, thrifty with it and it's still not really out so I bought two bottles of it because I love it and it smells of mint and peaches and I love peaches so it's amazing and it makes your skin soft and it looks better and it feels nice and yeah thank you I love it so I bought two of it so I won't run out as soon as I can next up from Peaches and Clean is the Sugar Crush body scrub which smells like absolute heaven it's you can't describe it many have tried I will attempt but I can't it is lemony sugary a bit spicy even and has smashed brown sugar in it sweet lime almond oil and macadamia grains and it scrubs like it does a very good job. It makes my skin very soft. It smells delicious and my my chummy bought it last year I believe and I she made me use it and then I was in love and I couldn't wait to go to the UK to purchase it because we don't have soaping glory in Holland and now I'm so very happy we're getting married soon, you know. And oh peaches and clean. I'm sorry, I'm such a chaos chaotic person okay look um no that's not the one okay sugar crush is eight pounds peaches and clean is also eight pounds so that's nice and they were on sale in boots like buy three get to pay for two or stuff like that so that was very bad for my bank balance again so that one I also bought Foam Call, never heard of it. Uh, it says Super Moisture Moisture Suds, dual use shower and bath body wash with peppermint essentials, grapeseed EFAs, fruit liquid fig, and orange water juice. It's just lovely. I don't have a bath at home, which I, but we do have a shower. So I could use this because it smells also very very delicious. I can't I can't describe it. Have a smell. Go to the store, have a sniff. 
and it makes my skin very very soft and it gets nice foam and it's just very good so and that was what was that 650 nice what I also bought from Soap and Glory because it was on sale is the Scrub Atomic Amazing Daily Face Polish and I used it once and it was a very nice scrub and I liked it I've never heard of it it doesn't really smell like something though I would say it smells like peaches but everything smells of peaches to me but it's just a very nice scrub for um, like a combination skin which I have and it's for all skin types it says but I really like it so that was scrub atomic nine pounds nine pounds but you can I think it's it's not very very much in the tube but I think you can get a lot out of it because I just use a little a little dab of it and it was good so that's it <sighs> not even there okay what did I buy next Ooh. Onto lipsticks, I love lipsticks. I bought the Revlon Lip Butter. I own the Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait, I believe it's called. And I heard about Tutti Frutti and I saw it online and I loved it. And it's an orange, it's a lighter lighter shade, shade of infrared. Not really. It's just a very bright orange, but it leaves like a glow on the lips. It's not really like bang you've got a set of lips on your face but it's more like hey nice smile or something and it's really lovely I love the rip lip butters this one isn't as um, this one this doesn't own a, as much glitter as the peach parfait which I don't really like so much glitter so I like this very much and it's very soft and very lovely feeling and that was bought at Superdrug and Superdrug is also a very amazing store and it was like $7.99 so that's okay I will use it I will use it and then I want I've wanted to buy um, MAC for a very long time MAC uh, lip lipsticks and uh, it's almost my birthday so I thought I would treat myself and get one lipstick so look what happened I bought two! Yay! But they're very beautiful and the girl at the shop at Selfridges really helped me a lot. She applied a lot of lipsticks and was very patient with me because I couldn't choose. But eventually these are the ones I bought. Zen Rose. It is a Sheen Supreme lipstick and it's a very lovely pink. It's a bit of a purpley pink, but when I wear it, it is pink. I don't fuchsia. It's fuchsia, but a very darker toned down one. I'm. I don't own any pink lipsticks except for Pillow Talk from Topshop, so that was quite a buy for me. And I love it. It's just very soft, and I used it yesterday once, and I'll swatch it later. And I know it stayed on a very long time. It was soft. It didn't dry on my lips. I've got some dry lips. It cracks a lot, and it's really lovely. And I like it. And yeah, I think I'll use it a lot. And the other one was already on my list of I like those colors. So maybe I'll get it. And um, actually, the girl at the counter picked all the colors out for me. She didn't say which color she grabbed. She just looked at me and said, "Maybe this one." And she got Plumful for me, and that was one I really loved for a very long time. It is a luster, yeah, a luster lipstick, and it is pretty. Luster is like a bit creamy. It's creamy, but it doesn't wipe away with a sip or whatever. It's a plum, like the name suggests. It's Plumful. It's plum, and it's beautiful. Like, I put it on and I was amazed like wow I don't own plums or roses or I don't own roses no I don't in the garden I do but those are actually my mother's but rose pink colors that's the one pink colors I don't own pink colors and I like it a lot and I think I wear it a lot because it's MAC and 
I believe I'm going to fall for it, even though they're quite expensive. But I think it's worth it. You can do a really long time with it. So, Zen Rose was about... Sheen Supreme. Uh, 1550. Um, no. Yes, it is. 1550 for, for Zen Rose. And Plum Fall is about 15 pounds. So it's quite alright. In Holland they're more expensive, so I was good with that. So it was my birthday treat, so already a happy birthday to me. And then I forgot something. What I also bought at MAC counter was the blending brush. This is 217. It's a blending brush. It's really soft. I already used it. It is amazing. And I don't think you can really... Does it? Does it? Yeah, a bit. It's pretty. It's not too big. Look, it's the size of my eyes. It just blends a lot. It's very soft and it's beautiful. And that was about... 18 pounds, but it's a good brush. You need one good brush, I think. I own many, uh, some other not really good brushes, just simple. What you can buy at a uh, drugstore, you call it? Yes. And that's what I bought, and I like this one. It's good. I'm already in love. Again, I'm cheating on my other products. <gasps> okay. So I'm back again. I had a little break of a few hours because I had my driver's lessons. It went well and so here we are again and let's continue because there's still more. Okay, next is my sleek palette. I wanted to buy a palette in London because I don't own many big palettes with lots of colours. And my chummy Stella told me that this one is good and I used it from her and I loved it and I couldn't let it go without buying it. So it just fell into my shopping bag. Just happened. So here's my sleek palette. It is uh, the I Divine Storm palette and it is also very, very gorgeous. I'll make sure I'll get a close-up in good uh, daylight because the light has changed again because there's a sunscreen and everything and now I can't get it open because oh uh, really but this is the palette it's large there are a lot of colors there are 14 colors which a bargain is for the price I gave it look it's all a bit neutrals and it's a bit stormy as the name would suggest um, it was $7.99, I mean 14 colors, amazing pigments, yeah, yeah, what more can I say, I'll give you a close up in bright daylight when you want, so you can see the colors, and I'm wearing, well, let's see how we can do that, I'm wearing a few colors now, I'm wearing that one, I'm wearing that one, and I'm wearing that, that one today. So that's what's on my eyes. Oh, it's beautiful. You've got a brush with it, which is um, just a normal brush. I don't really like these brushes, but um, some colors don't really come off on my soft brushes. So you need a hard one, and then I blend it out with the soft, with my MAC brush, for instance. So that's my sleek palette. I bought some nail polishes from Barry M because it's already raved about on the internet. This one is a beautiful dark purple kind of colour. I like dark colours on my nails. And this one is ah, plum. It will go perfectly with my plum full lipstick from MAC, I presume. Well, it's a Jelly High Shine nail paint by Barry M. And I'm very... I want to try it. I want to try it. And I've got the same one in watermelon because it's a beautiful colour. It's greeny, it's bluey, exactly the colour of the watermelon shell. Yeah. I want to try it. And the final two! We made it! And then the back is just empty! One, I've got the top shop. For top shop, no. The final ones! I've got the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer because everyone's telling it's amazing. So I had to give it a try. I already tried it. It's amazing. I bought two bottles because I knew I was going to fall in love with it. And we're going to sell it. They don't sell it here in 
Holland, thank you so much, Holland, for the amazing products that you don't sell. And yeah, it's the color fair in number one because I'm very, very fair, as it might suggest. But I'm willing to give this one a try. So, the final, the very last thing I bought is the Super Liner Perfect Slim from L'Oreal Perry. It's a lovely eyeliner and a nice. Uh, you call it it's just an eyeliner it's very sharp it's very black I haven't used it yet I'm very curious and I'll somehow make it work so that was it that's a wrap I'll give you the swatches next or I'll blend them something in I don't know but that's it that's a wrap and enjoy your day i hope you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it any suggestions down below enjoy the lovely summer i hope it will be a lovely day everywhere and maybe another video anytime soon so thank you and goodbye look that's what you get when you buy a lot this receipts thought this would be nice to figure out the prices, but it wasn't.